Okay, so super happy with the way this is turning out. Always 1500 watts, charging the batteries nicely. Now the only drawback is you can't run the MPP tracker software with the watch power software. You can either run one or the other. That's a bit of a problem because I really enjoy just watching it, to be honest. I mean, I work from home, I'm computer tech, I've got my own business from home. So I sit in front of a computer an awful lot and this is sort of sitting in the background as my telly. Um, solution to that problem is you can run watch power on that one. Oh no, sorry, MPP tracker. And on this one, it's called MPP Solar Patrol. Fantastic little program. So what I do is I use watch power, which is not running. I configure my unit, the highs, the lows, how it charges, when it charges, and all that sort of stuff. The charging side doesn't matter because it's done with that now. But this, now I've got to do this left handed, use a mouse at the same time, so it lets me this up. Options. One of the cool things about this is it lets me see it, and that's all I really care about. I can see that my battery voltage, and I've got 26, 26.93. That's 27.2 under charge and 26.6. There's a bit of differences there. The external voltage and the battery voltage, I think, are different because I've got three different types of batteries. So I'm not overly concerned about that. And they haven't been bulk They haven't been um, equalised for a long time. So, but anyway, back to this software, MPP Solar Patrol. You can go to settings, and you can go to timer. And you can actually, it'll actually turn your inverter on and off which is perfect for the way I use my inverter because during the day I use my on-grid inverter which is producing four and a half thousand watts, 4,600 watts so that runs my whole house without a problem my other, my other 1,700 watts of panels is charging that so during the day I use my grid and during the night I use my solar uh, I use my um, off-grid, my MPPT MPP solar unit, the 2424HS. So I've got it set, so at seven o'clock in the morning it switches from battery to utility, and at five o'clock in the afternoon it sets for, from utility back to solar, uh, back to battery, um, which works perfectly. Now it is software based, it's not hardware based, so you need a computer to, to connect it to it, but it seems a lot of us um, already have NUCs or laptops or whatever so the, most of us already got that logging there because the pips don't provide any logging inbuilt capability but you know you get what you pay for I guess it's not like it's a um, it's a selectronics unit selectronics anyway back to this um, now I have to um, credit I have to credit Vic hybrid power for showing me that software um, I've been chatting to him a bit lately and he is the fellow that I bought the, um, the PCM60X off um, and he shot it up to me very very quickly I didn't have any problems he's from Melbourne um, now he does have a good setup he's got um, a couple of um, 4848s um, joined together um, so he's got some lithium ion batteries it's a very neat little setup that i reckon pretty soon he's going to have some videos up on youtube check him out subscribe to his channel because um it's always good to see more people using this equipment and any faults or benefits it has um, additionally he has a 2424 um, hs for sale it hasn't been used um, or if it has been used, it's so very, very little. Um, it's 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 an, it's a local one, so it's from um, power. The oh, come on, who is it? The power company. Ah, oh, geez, I've gone blank. Anyways, it's the Aussie one, the red one. Um, so he's got that for sale. For if anybody wants that, they give me a message, and I will put you or get or message. Um, Vic Hybrid Power privately through his um, YouTube channel 
and he will be able to help you out with that. Uh, like I said, shipping wasn't a problem. He, he charged me $25 shipping, I think. Um, and it was here in like two days. It was awesome. Um, nothing better than, 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 than dealing with honest people. Even if I don't ever met him, I still I can still recommend him. Now, one other thing that I've done is I've done a map. And I'll try and provide it in the link down there somewhere. Um, and it's just a, how I've done it and I'm going to try and add as much information I can about every component, where I bought it from, how much I paid for it and so on. So basically I've got my grid coming in here to my, um, to my pip. I've got the 32 amp breaker there and then outgoing I've got another 32 amp breaker as per the requirements of that device. Um, I've got a transfer switch. So that transfer switch comes from the grid down into the transfer switch and then the outgoing is in transfer switch. So I can select the inverter or I can select the grid. Um, and then that outputs to three circuits within my house. Um, so it's my lights and I've got uh, one circuit of lights and two circuits of um, power outlets throughout the home. It doesn't do hot water system, it doesn't do pool pump it doesn't do the electric stove it only does those ones but they're the ones that I use at night so that's fine it doesn't even do my workshop at the moment I'm going to change that shortly though so that and, and it's important bit you can't hook up the grid power to the outgoing power you'll blow it up but people so it comes directly from the grid into your pip and then pip out into your house this is not a grid tied unit, so you can't put power back onto the grid because this thing will just launch and smoke. And I've heard of a few people already doing that, or more electricians doing it. So don't do it, people. Uh, everything is earthed. I have got a separate earth stake on my pip. Uh, and all my panels are double earthed, just because I could. And that has its own earth stake as well. A little bit of overkill, but yeah, may as well. So I've got two 250 amp fuse coming from my battery bank going up into my PIP. And then I've got my PCM60X. At the moment I've got nine panels uh, through a circuit breaker and they're there in series parallel. There's three bunches of three. Um, then it goes through a 20 amp rooftop breaker. Now it's a dual pole breaker on the roof. Um, just to um, isolate it if I need to. And goes into my PCM60X. And that's got another 50 amp breaker at the other end. That way if I have a, a problem in that cable anywhere, someone puts a shovel through it or whatever, even though it's like 50 centimeters underneath the earth and then in conduit, if someone ever breaks it, at least I've sort of got a little bit more protection at both ends. Um, and then naturally that goes into um, my battery bank. Now what I don't have there is I've got another circuit breaker in there, like another 100 amp circuit breaker. Um, it is there, it's just not in the, um, not in the picture. So that's how I've got mine set up.